unlikely things to hear on a consumer programme. This week on Watchdog, another shower of gullible twats ask us to make sense of their piss-poor decision-making. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Watchdog. Here's a dog. But when he asked the cold callers for their identification, they shot Mr Bin Laden with an AK-47. <laughs> I would like to complain about the boomerang I bought. I threw it, but it never came back! <laughs> <laughs> this week, we investigate bikini waxing strips. Are they just a rip-off? <laughs> Tonight, we're investigating fencing and why I got tickets for that instead of the 100 metres final, which is what I wanted. <laughs> Many of you who have bought Death Stars have emailed us complaining about a security problem with one of the exhaust vents. <laughs> <laughs> Although Austin the Butcher claims that his sausages are made of premium meat, we can reveal that's bollocks. <laughs> The crews had a 1940s theme, and Tom and Vera were delighted until they were sunk by a U-boat in the north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask for it, didn't order it, got it, even though I don't even want it, and it doesn't even work. <laughs> we have some more views on the coalition after the break. <laughs> What was sold as a vibrator is clearly just a taser with a stale sausage attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> but something was wrong with the car. The clock said 63,000 miles, while the mileometer said quarter past three. <laughs> I would like to complain about the sushi restaurant at Gatwick Airport. There's nice big portions going round on the conveyor, but they do taste luggagey. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Watchdog, I'm extremely pissed off with this product. I bought just for men, my wife used it, and now I am gay. <laughs> Identity theft is on the increase. I'm Dara O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> we work so he doesn't have to. 